Uh, present, we, we actually reflected upon uh, the problem of how to create a better education, how to enhance our educational system. We made some slides, but we don't have it, so I'll try to get, um, give you an idea if I find it. Yes. So we try to analyze the question of how to enhance our global educational system. So we thought to treat it like a research problem, research question. And uh, the fact is that our educational system is a system that can be split in many parts. At least in, in, we found four parts. The first one can be time and space. Then we have um, the role players, the, the actors, so the students and the teacher. Then uh, Marco talked about the contents. Mm -hmm. So what, what actually should be teach, what actually should be the focus of our future education. And then the fourth one is the methods. <coughs> so how to educate and how to you know, receive the better education possible. For all these parts, we actually found uh, some, mm, some problems, some smaller problems, and then some proposals. I will put the assessment inside the methods. Yeah. <coughs> you're, the, you're the better, you're the amazing without the presentation, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we have some you notes here, so you can, you can also proceed by you know, yeah. making use of it. So our global educational system has this one big problem. It doesn't deliver its job, because mostly people, after you know, they, they get out the educational system, they finish their, their degree, their master, they cannot find uh, a job, uh, above all, a, the, the job they studied for. And even if they find some jobs, those usually are, um, are short-term jobs. Because and sometimes with low wage, wage uh, and that is due to the fact that they are, um, they are evaluated and they're said to lack work experience. And this is one of the points we wanted to tackle in, the, in this part, in the part of the methods. So integrating the work, um, collaborating with firms to offer internships in um, doing, already doing the master or the undergraduate degree. Then, uh, you want to go with time and space? Okay. okay. Okay, so um, my part of the presentation is about what you he see here. Maybe I have the uh, presentation. You could do it. <coughs> So uh, we discussed about, a lot about uh, these days about the human, the concept of human development. It was Sarah that introduced the concept of resilience, and resilience uh, goes, of course, together with vulnerabilities. And uh, we think that um, the process of education is the most important one, because a, vulner a vulnerability in the process of education means, of course, a vulnerability in the whole development process. So uh, if we think about the human development, what the, the United Nations are working on, are doing in the, uni the United Nations network and system, we could find that uh, the UNESCO, of course, is working on different programs to 
bring more accessibility to uh, about education in most part of the world and that the UN last month for example was talking about at the UN General Assembly about the uh, the need what is called the uh, the youth that has, that are not seeking nor uh, education nor trainership nothing that they are completely not engaged in the education system so we thought that uh, youth of course is facing a lot of different uh, challenges and uh, the concept of course of uh, this conference either is to find practical measures to uh, find a different qualitative paradigm about the uh, a different qualitative education in fact the SDG number four is uh, named quality education of course and uh, so uh, what we are trying to, to do after uh, the presentation of Federica and Marco is to find some kind of practical measures to uh, face this kind of vulnerability in the development and the education process of course and we thought that uh, a, a good start is of course to present you some kind of, uh, of better practices, best practices and good example from our university because of course it's not complete darkness and our university uh, offers uh, uh, the Department of Political Science uh, an entire course taught in English that is International Student Studies uh, course that uh, offers the, um, a complete new approach for us that is the Anglo-Saxon approach with uh, no any more uh, kind of lecture uh, that we are used to uh, and uh, another best practice from this, uh, kind, this uh, our department is the ASTRE, that is the uh, high school of Roma Tre, uh, that is uh, uh, connects all the departments in our university to find a seminar each each month, and uh, it's of course uh, a, one of the better example of multidisciplinary and transdisciplinary work in our department. But uh, I would like now to focus on the value of time and space because, of course, uh, what we need is that the university, first of all, gives us what uh, is for us the value of our time and the value of our space. Because uh, time for us means time to build our expertise, our own expertise and skills. So we, we, we work on uh, two, actually, two uh, practical measures to, to face that challenge. One is the semester off. Uh, we thought about uh, maybe three to six months in which we don't have any more to study. We have a period off uh, from from the from the exams, from the from the courses, the classes, because in, in that period we can uh, focus on uh, the the trainership, the, the capacity building to build our resilience in this vulnerable kind of system. So um, the semester off, uh, I think that um, could answer to some of our uh, difficult questions. And the second practical measure is the frozen career. This is, of course, something that is already in existence in our department. I don't know from the QMG uh, University, but uh, some of us could uh, freeze, actually freeze our career, um, but there is a, a, a really strict rules about that. So uh, uh, you, um, you can see from the keywords at the, the, the bottom of the presentation, the keywords are capacity building and, of course, flexibility. We have to to build on more flexibility, so the rules uh, should be more flexible to face our challenges and so a, freeze, a frozen career should be open to a more flexible kind of rules, set of rules. So we thought about even open rules on the curriculums to build our curriculums in our department and learning agreements for the Erasmus and the Erasmus Plus program and um, different rules to uh, obtain the SCTS so different routes to obtain points for our university, and so a different kind of set of routes to, uh, to as a stimulus, as an incentive, to uh, open ourselves to different kind of learning that would be a um, real uh, life experience as kind of learning, as way of learning. And space is of course the space to open to a different kind of learning, and uh, we thought about two, uh, two uh, proposals, one is the Moodle and the NOC that Marco talked about already and uh, I think that this should be open to uh, our university in partnership because maybe our professor and your professor could upload some kind of courses and we follow some courses to obtain credits and the CTS and uh, the last proposal is of course the educational network inside the whole World University Consortium and the World Academy of Art and Sciences 
and the educational network in which all the university that would like to could breed, could build a partnership and open the, the students to a different kind of education, a more qualitative par a different par paradigm of quality education, and uh, to um, improve our uh, experience in the, the, the university as a student and improve our life experience as human <coughs> beings uh, to face then the, 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 the most important challenges of our, uh, of our age. So thank you very much. <laughs>